My name's Ryan Stewart. I'm CEO of a company called Capiche. Uh, we were part of the BNE3 cohort of the RCL and Mura D Accelerator. So we came into the program with a product and customers. Uh, during the program, we managed to increase our customer numbers by over three times. Um, we were lucky enough to add some big Australian corporates to our customer list and also sign our first American customers. And I honestly don't think any of that would have been possible without the support by both the head of Accelerator, who is Christo, and the EIRs in the BNE3 cohort. Um, the knowledge that they were able to bring around having previously gone through the exact same things that we'd gone through um, and just help out week to week in terms of problems that we were facing and even setting KPIs for ourselves to hold ourselves accountable um, in our growth was super interesting. And that accountability aspect, not just from the entrepreneurs and residents or the head of Accelerator, but also from the fellow co cohort, creating that competitive environment upon which everyone's trying to build a great company and, and uh, accelerate their growth is really advantageous to us. My honest opinion is you get the most out of a program like this if you have a product. It doesn't need to be the most perfect product. It doesn't need to be a product that doesn't need any more building. But if you're applying to a program like this when you're pre-product, so you haven't built anything yet, I honestly think that you're too early. I think if you've got a product, and ideally if you've got one or two customers paying for that product, you're at a perfect point in your trajectory to accelerate your growth. And that's uh, exactly what a program like this is designed for, to take a company who has a seed of something, not just an idea, pass the idea stage into an actual functioning product that people are using and accelerate that from a few people to a few hundred or whatever uh, your particular business model looks like, that's the perfect point at which to achieve an accelerator. I'd spend the early part of the accelerator if you get into the program making sure that you nail down that customer and product market fit. Make sure you know your customers, make sure you take the time at the start of the accelerator to understand who you built your product for, understand what product market fit is understand how to conduct a successful customer interview and make sure you spend your first probably month of time doing that. Once you've got that down, once you understand what you need to do or whether you have product market fit, you can then start to think about how you getting in front of more customers and how you get more sales. But definitely don't try and skip that bit. If you try and skip forward past product market fit straight into sales and marketing and think, ah, oh, we'll get a product market fit while we're doing sales and marketing, particularly if you're a B2B SaaS company, I think that's a wrong approach.